Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to talk about a, a general plan of action for a beginner playing the Irish fiddle. So I'm well aware that my videos, and there are so far around 300 of them, they are pretty random. Uh, they cross a whole lot of different genres, uh, different levels, different styles. Um, I think uh, there's probably uh, 50, between 50 and 100 Irish tunes there. And if you are just kind of starting out in Irish fiddle, it might be a good idea to have some kind of idea where to start and how to develop from there. And the way my uh, videos are not arranged is not very helpful. So I'm, in this video, one of the things I'm going to do is to try and point you to some of the videos um, that might be particularly appropriate for different levels of playing. Uh, I will do a similar plan of action, if this one is successful, uh, at an intermediate and higher level of uh, uh, playing for Irish fiddle. And I'll give you a, some kind of a plan of action as to how you might develop your playing and where you might go in the future. So the first question is, are you a beginner and what kind of beginner are you? I would say there are two uh, types of beginner in this case. Uh, one is the basic level player who's maybe only been playing a few months or a few years but definitely wants to play Irish fiddle and there is the classical player who's an experienced player but has no experience with Irish fiddle. And don't be too smug at you classical players because uh, a lot of what you've learnt is going to uh, make life more difficult for you in playing Irish fiddle. Uh, although you will have certain advantages. Um, second question is why do you want to play Irish music rather than any other style or if you're not sure uh, how are you going to decide whether Irish music is for you. In uh, some respects Irish fiddle is a, a pretty easy uh, a thing to approach in that uh, not much technique is required, at least not much classical technique, you're playing mostly in first position, you don't need any vibrato, you don't need to improvise, uh, you don't need to know really any music theory. The tunes are short and they're repetitive. Uh, you can learn them without reading music, they're mostly in easy keys. So uh, having said all that, it sounds really easy, um, but making it sound right is quite another matter and that's where the challenge lies and that's where the classical player uh, will not be having it all their own way because there's a great deal of it, understanding that needs to go into it in order to play them properly. Um, this music is very lively music and it's very popular and accessible and people all over the world will recognise Irish music and they will smile when you start to play it in a way that they might not if you start to play some Schoenberg for example on the violin. Um, and all around the world there are sessions where you can play in public uh, in a non-threatening environment, which is a great thing. Um, I say any, anywhere in the world, that there, there are dozens of them in London um, and probably in most big cities. You may well find yourself in a little town in the Midwest somewhere where there are no Irish sessions. And this will sound quite hollow. But there will be one somewhere within driving distance, hopefully. And it's a great place to, to get started in this music. It gives you a, a real incentive to learn new tunes and to learn how to play them and to get them up to tempo if you're playing them with other people and playing them in such a way that not everyone is listening to you. Uh, that's why a session is so great. Now, there are all kinds of different fiddle uh, tune types. Um, polkas, waltzes, um, airs, uh, reels, jigs, slip jigs and so on and it's a good idea to know where to start and I would definitely re recommend starting with polkas and waltzes because these are the easy ones. Um, John Ryan's polka is a very good tune to start with because that's really nice and easy and, uh, and that goes something like this. <laughs> So I've got a 
video on John Ryan's polka and I've also got one on Joe Bain's polka and uh, I'll Tell My Ma. Uh, all three very well known tunes. Uh, waltzes are very good for beginners. Um, Planks de Owen is a great place to start and believe me if all those endearing young charms which is a video I've uh, just recently done. Um, at, the, at this stage you don't need to worry about bowing or ornamentation. If you go along to a session and play along, no one will be listening to your ornaments and um, that's something that is, um, will fill your future months and years but is not something you need to worry about to start with. And bowing is, is something that again will take a lot of effort and a lot of time but you can start off just playing pretty well separate bows if you feel like it, if that's the way you want to approach it. So having done some polkas and waltzes, I would then move on to jigs. And uh, Tenpenny Bit and Swallowtail are two easy jigs, both of which I have videos on. Um, when you start to do uh, jigs, which incidentally are in 6-8 time. <laughs> Here you do need to start thinking about bowing because the danger is to want to do long separate uh, bows and that is such hard work and it looks and it sounds so terrible uh, but quite a few of my videos um, uh, particularly the Kesh and the Blackthorn stick uh, do have quite a lot about the bowing and the general rules that you learn from those will be very useful with all jig playing. Other jigs that I've got are the Banks of Loch Gowner, the Monaghan Jig, Banish Miss Fortune, Dusty Window Sill, the three Sea Captains, and there's a couple of slip jigs that I've done, uh, the Butterfly and the Kid on the Mountain. And a slip jig is one that goes not 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, but 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3. <laughs> That's quite tricky the first uh, time you approach it, so I would definitely do the straight jigs before you try any slip jigs. Um, now, reels are actually the tunes which are mostly played in sessions. I would say probably 70% of the tunes played in set most sessions are going to be reels rather than any other types. And these are generally quite a lot faster, they have lots of notes and can be quite difficult. Um, I've done a couple of videos with simplified versions of reels and The Wind That Shakes the Barley is one such and The Tarbolton is another. And with these tunes, um, basically I've taken out some of the eighth notes and put in quarter notes instead. And this is something that um, if you understand the skeleton of the melody you can really do to any tune, uh, particularly to any reel, you can just take, leave out a few of the notes and just simplify them. And this will work fine, certainly within a, a session setting. Um, so having tried Win the Shakes of Barley and Tar Bolton, I would then try May Behind the Bar, the Silver Spire, the Flogging Reel, a Kerry Reel, St. Anne's Reel, Musical Priest, Drowsy Maggie, uh, which has uh, some string crossing, this kind of thing. Which is pretty common in reels. Um, the Man of the House, which has quite a lot about bowing, um, and then there's a few difficult ones, Catharsis, which is a real, the Fleur de Mandragor, and real Beatrice. Um, also quite hard are hornpipes, and they have the uh, distinct uh, dotted rhythm. That kind of rhythm. Uh, they can be melodically quite hard. Uh, examples I've done are Johnson's and the Golden Eagle and the Rights of Man. Um, so I would leave hornpipes until you've done a few reels. We then have a, um, a set of videos I've done of um, different types of tune that don't necessarily fit into those. So we've got um, an air down by, down by the Sally Gardens which is quite an easy one. Um, there's the Wild Mountain Time, which is also an easy one. Uh, the Morning Star, a slow reel. The Princess Royal, which is a, a Carolyn tune. Coleman's March. Uh, she Begs You More. Alistrum's March. The Last of the Mohicans. Uh, Hewlett and the Ookpik Waltz. Um, Planks D, George Brabazon and Josephine's Waltz. Uh, 
all interesting. Um, apart from the um, down by the Sally Gardens, most of those are quite hard. Then we've got songs. Uh, I've done the Galway Girl, Dirty Old Town, and Fairy Tale of New York, among others. And um, you quite often will get asked to play along with songs, and in a way, your job is harder because. Um, there's no set part unless you, you look at my videos um, so you have to know how to kind of make up your own melody to, that fits in with the song uh, but those videos will help you and give you an idea of how you can approach that certainly if you, if you start to play in a band that plays in pubs then that's one of the things you'll have to do is to play along with songs and there is no kind of career path uh, that shows you exactly how to approach that unlike in uh, uh, Irish fiddle tunes where there's a it's kind of fairly obvious what you've got to do and how you've got to do it. Um, ornamentation, I've said you don't need as a beginner, but I've done videos on the cut, which is... Um, where you do a little grace note uh, preceding a melody note. There's the roll. And there's the bowed triplet, also known as the treble or shiver. Um, that's the hardest one. I would start off with uh, the cut and the roll. And I do have videos on all three of these, so they're worth checking out. Um, so your goals as a beginner in Irish fiddle are to learn a few well-known tunes well enough to play in public, I would say. And as I say, start with the polkas and waltzes. And when you've got um, maybe half a dozen reels, then I think you're probably ready to go to a session. When you first go to the session, I suggest you um, go along and just watch and maybe have a word with a few people. Um, make sure that the session is uh, not a kind of a high level session where people are professional players hammering away at top speed, which is what some sessions are like. Um, there are a lot of sessions which are which will welcome all levels and there are some special slow sessions where it's expected that you will play slowly and will keep going round and round the same tune and if you can find one of those that's really useful um, it's a good idea to learn one set of bowing for each tune if you can having said that you don't need to know anything about bowing um, it will make it a lot easier once you do have a pattern of bowing that you can help that will help you and try and learn a few ornaments and um, then the, um, all of this that I've told you, including going through all of these videos, is probably going to take you about a year at least. But I would say the, the job of learning the Irish fiddle is a 20 year job and um, should be taken seriously and patiently. Um, I will post the, uh, the script of this actually with, with the list of videos on my Patreon page. Uh, so if you're interested in that, do have a look. And um, I will also do a link to the session.org, which is a great place for finding um, tunes and finding out which are the most popular tunes and how they are played. Um, and I will post a list also of the best known tunes in each of the different types, which I think will be useful. If you enjoy this particular video and find it useful, there's lots more like this I can do. It's the first one I've done. I'm not sure if I've done it the best way, but let me know what you think of it and um, I will hopefully do some more. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.